Are, are you willing to share your uh, your 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 door knock uh, script still oh, today? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I work every type of lead. I, I am involved in advanced markets, mortgage protection, final expense, Medicare supplements, all of it. So wow. which door knock script do you want? Ooh, ooh. Let's do the uh, let's do the final expense one. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Gotta come to the door. <laughs> All right, I'm opening. H h hello, who are you? Cody? Yes. Hey, Cody, it's Leslie. I've been trying to get in touch with you. You sent in this information, and I know how important it was for you. Um, I don't know when you got it, but due to COVID, they just now got me out here. Um, mm. Any? Do you have a few minutes? Uh, Yeah. Okay, great. Perfect. Do you like me to take off my shoes, or can I keep them on? Uh, you can keep them on. Perfect. And then from there, I just go straight to, I always sit right at the table. Mm. And then at the table, I don't, I don't go. Um, so why'd you fill this out? Yeah. I love that. No, it's, it's just, so I'm assuming you sent this in because you're worried about your burial. If something was to happen to you, who would be picking up the pieces if, um, when you die? You know what I love? Here's what, here's the five things I noticed, by the way. Absolutely incredible. Okay. Make sure you guys give Klaus Leslie some love and comments. Okay. To share that live on video. Like you can tell the chick has got it. Okay. Five things I noticed. Number one, you said their name. No, no, no. Number two, you, you were, first you were little. first name. Yeah. First name only. Oh, that's yep. you because they'll correct them. It's Mrs. Adams. Okay. Mrs. Adams. Yeah. Well, yep. I'm Leslie. Exactly. Number two, you were loud. You didn't like get quieter and lose confidence. You you, you had right. you had some confidence, which is great, right? You're talking to old people through it through a screen, right? Mm -hmm. um, you, you mentioned the word of how how important it was to them. You made it about them instead of about you, right? Which is huge. Um, four, you 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 were extremely assumptive every step of the way, and you always finish with a question. Yeah, and not an open ended question either. It's mm -hmm. usually like, yeah. <laughs> so, so impressive so any impressive. reason why i can't we can't talk about this right now yes or no mm. instead of when do you want me to now i do i'm very good at booking appointments at the door if i can't get in an appointment is being made and i always say to the team like it's not a no unless it's a no to your face so i'm here now if you're gonna say no do it now yeah that's and right. that's when i let the lead go sort of you know what's the most impressive part about you and i noticed this with a lot of top producers like yourself um is their mindset they're, they're headstrong. Like no, no one is screwing up their day. Like they are in complete control of what happens throughout the day. And, and they accept responsibility for what happens. Like if you don't get an appointment, you don't blame the prospect. You blame yourself. Oh my gosh. We just talked right? about that this morning. Yes. And that, you can pinpoint exactly what you did and why you didn't get the appointment. I'm like, well, I know exactly how I screwed that up. I can try to save it, but I know I'm just going to go over there and try to meet her in person. Yep. So impressive. So impressive. Um, as you are building out a team and helping others, what's some of the things that you're noticing from some of the people that are doing well versus some of the people that are really struggling? Oh, gosh, that's so easy to answer. Um, it's just it's it's they've allowed. I'm guilty of it. Like, especially you got to remember a lot of women talk to me. So with yeah. women in general, they just don't show up. Mm. Like something comes up and they just don't show up. And I'm like, this style session has been going on forever since we've had the same, we have had the same weekly schedule since we started. And you get a notification and an email and a text reminding you to get on. And you just didn't log in. Like you, you're going to have to, I can't make you log into your computer. So I think okay. the part of the problem is just showing up and it, just log on because once you log on, when I see you, if you're in another state, if I see you logged in, I am directly talking to you for some reason. I'm going to pull you out of whatever you're in. And my agents will tell you, like, they call me on purpose to get pulled out of whatever crud they're in. Mm. And like today, we went over time blocking. Something so simple as time blocking Got age. I got an agent with five appointments, eight appointments, eleven appointments, all because we sat and just got out of our funk first and got it all out of the way. Showing you're up, in six, number one. Show yeah, I love that. I I I I, I said it all the time is is literally step number one to success is just showing up. Yeah. It's just it it's so easy to not show up. You know, it drives me insane. I I freaking love that you said that. That's so on point. Um, what. Did, did did you earn uh, 
six figures your first year? Yeah, I did. How rare is that? Oh, yeah, I did. I nailed it. <laughs> How awesome is that? What, 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 I crushed what was, it. I crushed it. What was the exact number? Help me out. It was, I need to look. It was somewhere between 362,000 and 382,000. Two carrier trips. Wow. Back to back. Car and, no, three. You were there in one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It was a couple carrier trips back to, I mean, shoot, I was on vacation for like the whole summer of the next year. <laughs> Jeez, this this yeah. was your this was so it's three hundred and and sixty three hundred eighty whatever is thousand in premium your first year. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Oh yeah, I learned so much about leads. I learned about that's the year that I learned that that if you if you come to the table ready, if you come prepared, if you decide to be full time and you show up every day, you will learn that you have to get an S corp or an LLC. <laughs> like you will learn how to manage your money fast. Yes, that's right. I bought leads from day one. I never had a lead given to me. You, you also, you probably had a uh, decent t tax bill after your first year. Oh yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> um, I, were we, we can avoid that if you want. <laughs> I don't care. I, I, I was, I was I told- take it off. Like, I did, it wasn't terrible. I could have paid it off in full, but I took my time paying it off because who wants to pay the IRS? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm they take payment there. plans. So I just set up an auto pay and let it, let it do its thing, but it never happened again. <laughs> yes. Me. Yes, that's right. Yeah. We, we, you, you live and you learn and you fix and you correct and, and you yeah, don't do it again. I'm telling you, you guys listening, do not live and learn. Go get a CPA right now. Yes. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, That's, I, I had the same thing happen to where I was told by a CPA, you owe the IRS twenty thousand dollars at least, and I'm like, oh, mine was higher. I'm like, I'm twenty years old. What are we talking about here? This is yeah. ridiculous. I'm like, I don't, I, I blew it. I, I, I spent it all. What do you mean? Just, where did it go? Why did yeah. you job? <laughs> so I went and did my own on like uh, H and R Block or whatever, and I got it down to uh, eight grand, paid it, and then I hired a CPA. Mm -mm. I used H and R Block, got the tax problem, and went and hired a professional. That's awesome. <laughs> you, you did. You did the smarter way. Please, you guys, get a regular CPA. Just yep. get one. <laughs> well, and, and what you're talking about is running a business, right? Like they are. Every, everyone's a business owner. I don't think people grasp that. Like they're like, okay, so I'm independent. I can just show up and work nine to five like a regular person. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I can't tell you. Maybe th through, okay, so I'll be, I'm going to put some transparency out there for you. Last year was my absolute worst, and I just mean worst paid, worst income in the business since I've been in the business. And that was because I had a toddler and COVID happened, and I had a very hard time time blocking. This, this did not happen for me, and it's mm. shame on me. And I sat in it. And I, and this is just at 6 to 10 p.m., Monday through Friday. I'll show it to you. It's when wow. I will. Yeah, it's the purple are the appointments. This is the week when I have my kid. Did you see all those appointments? Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. That's awesome. So, but time blocking and time management didn't happen during COVID. I allowed that to tear apart my business. I got emotional. We're women, okay? We're going to get emotional. But also, like... I am, I am doing what mom and dad both do. It's, you know, I mean, I do have a husband, but That's right. in the business, I am both a broker and a mom with men. You guys just don't make the money and we spend it. The agent, the like talk to Lauren, like she's, she's, she does a lot. Right. Yes. But, but a lot of guys go out and produce and their women are at home having babies and like try doing all of that and being the producer too. When you're not in a supportive role. That's a lot. I you respect have to have a, a time block or you're just dead in the water. And that happened to me. And I'm embarrassed about it. And I promise you it'll never happen again. I respect the heck out of that, by the way. Uh, is can they, can they email you for the time blocker? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What do you, what do you, I'll, just, I'll send it over. I'll post it on the... Can I post it in your Facebook group or something as a file? Sure. Yeah. So and, and group. We have a group. It's called the Insurance Ladies. I co-host it. It's actually Joanna's group. I co-host it with her and Amanda and Malia and some awesome other chicks in the business. And it, 
it's it's no it's no recruiting it's totally women friendly any agency any any anything and it's in the file section there um but i will give it to you cool i love that okay uh, you guys have to grab that at super impressive and it looked like it was you know what the most complicated thing in the world to build it's just that you have it you know you make it's, it. it's just a block yeah just blocks 6 a.m to 10 a.m sunday through saturday pretty simple you know? i'll give you my schedule because you're going to want that how can Good. i how can we how can we you guys too like just because I'm a chick, like you guys are not working like this. That's true. Yeah. You got and a I point. Mean, I'll just give it to you. Because I go to the gym. I got a personal trainer. Like, see? I'm in there. I see That's you guys. Great. I see Brad and all of them. Out. Yeah, I'm doing that too. <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Dude, you are, you have like a special energy about you that you, like, I'm telling you guys, you get to know this cat. I'm telling you, like, he, he, he just, from a, like a relationship standpoint, personality standpoint, you're one of the easiest person 